<laughs> they look like the Wiggles, sound like the Wiggles, and even have an ex-Wiggle running the show. But Australia's newest child entertainers differ in one big way. The characters are all emergency service workers with songs about keeping kids safe. They call themselves Team Rescue and a warning to mums and dads, it won't be long before this catchy tune gets stuck in your head because the original yellow Wiggle, Greg Page, is writing the songs. His big bright smile has lit up so many Australian homes. The original Yellow Wiggle, Greg Page, wrote many of the group's world famous cheerful tunes. He left the group in 2006 due to illness, but has been writing songs ever since. Now he's about to get into the driver's seat again, joining Team Rescue, Australia's newest children's group, with a difference. If you want to stay safe when you're swimming at the beach, they're educating kids to keep them safe. The group is led by Tony Chiocco, a Gold Coast firefighter who hopes Team Rescue can help prevent the tragedies he sees too often on the job. If you want to stay safe, then walk around the pool. It's something Greg is passionate about too, but don't expect to see him in a bright skivvy. Instead, he'll be behind the scenes, writing the catchy tunes which kids love and parents can't get out of their heads. Just like the Wiggles, you can catch Team Rescue on YouTube, on children's TV, and even Virgin Australia has picked them up for their in-flight entertainment. Oh, what a great message. And in a weekend Sunrise exclusive, we're joined by the former Yellow Wiggle himself, Greg Page. Greg... I can't tell you how many times you've been in my living room I know, and, and on mine. my screens in and computers bedrooms. and phones. Lovely to see you in person. Yeah. Thank you. And one of the creators of Team Rescue, Tony Chico. Guys, welcome. Uh, Greg, we'll start with the spotlight. You've been out of it for a little while now, but what made you want to be involved in this, particularly in this project? Well, look, it's a, an amazing project to be a part of. I mean, my passion is educating children and what better thing to educate them about than safety and how to be safe and saving lives and preventing injuries and that's when Tony approached me about four years ago. Tony's the creator of Team Rescue and he reached out to me and said can you help me bring this to life and get these messages out there to keep children safe? So that was really what did it for me. Uh, Tony, you're a firefighter and, and also a stalker, it turns out, because you managed <laughs> to get in contact with Greg and get him on board. Um, was your idea basically that we've got to just have uh, a great way to, to get into kids' heads? Look, as an emergency service worker, and I've worked in two different states and territories now, and I've been a firefighter for a number of years, and the amount of tragedy and trauma that we as rescue workers do witness out there, especially for young children, mm. of a preventable nature, uh, pretty much gave me the idea to get something out there. Sure. Um, yeah, brilliant idea. They're pretty stoic, we know, our uh, first responders, our firefighters. Uh, what did the team at the fire station think of your new side gig? Look, I have a, uh, a number of um, um, firefighters that I work alongside with, and uh, they are parents as well. And they do have young children. Yeah. So bringing Team Rescue out there and now they, and now my colleagues introducing it into their families as well for their young children, you know, it's pretty much uh, quite exciting times, you know. So they're quite happy and, yeah, and very supportive of what I do. Great. How it's difficult brilliant. was it, Greg, to be able to then get a safety message through but still make it fun? Oh, look, as, as long as you can tap into the way that a child thinks, it's quite easy. So we, we give very simple safety messages. One of the main ones is stop and think. So if you're in a situation and you're not sure what to do, just stop and think. And then the other safety messages will kick in, like click clack in the front and the back of the car, make sure you do your seatbelt up. Um, if you're passing scissors to a friend, pass them by the handle end. Mm. Keep your clothes away from the heater so they don't catch fire. Uh, if you're crossing the road, cross at the lights or the lines. If you're standing near a road, hold an adult's hand. Very simple songs, yeah. very simple messages. But so but important. They're really so, important. And the sort of things that every parent mm. spends hours and hours trying to get through to the kids. And we know they learn so well through, through songs. songs and music and, yeah, and by doing things. Can't help but notice, Greg, there's sort of the wiggle colours in there, but there's a reason for that, correct? There is. Look, they're not the wiggle colours, no. They're the emergency services colours. Mm. Right. So you've got the blue for the police officer, the red for the firefighter, the sort of green or teal for the paramedic, and the yellow for the lifeguard, the lifesaver. So between those four core emergency 
emergency services. We can deliver a lot of safety messages across water safety, fire safety, road safety, first aid and injury prevention. That is fantastic. Yeah, what a great is. thing that you are doing. We've got six kids between us, but when you oh. <laughs> can you tell us later how kids do think? Yeah, I'll try. <laughs> that might help yeah. us enormously. And we'll also be introducing the SES as well. So we do have an orange um, performer as well. So, right, that great. makes Lots sense. Lots of colours. Yeah, that makes yeah. sense. Great to see you guys. Yeah. Well done. Thanks Brilliant message. We really, uh, really value it. Well yeah, done. Awesome. Thank, Thank you so much.